Lesson 5 homework. Number 1. The picture below shows 3 fourths of a rectangle shaded. Use the picture to show how to create an equivalent fraction for 3 fourths and then subtract 1 third. So this is now we before we were adding fractions now we're going to subtract them. The good news is we're going to use the same strategy. Just at the end we're going to subtract instead of add. So we need to start by finding a common denominator for 3 and 4. And to do that, I'm going to list the multiples of 3 and 4. So 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 4, 8, 12, 16. So our least common multiple in our common denominator is 12. So we need to change this 3 fourths into 12 In order to make fourths into 12 we need to multiply it by 3. So I'm going to split this. Since they've already done it horizontally, I'm going to do it vertically into thirds. And then if I have my one third, so if I have one third and I need to break that into twelfths, I would split it three times four is twelve. So, so then up here for our three fourths, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine twelfths plus one, two, three, four twelfths. That is equal to, oh, but we're not adding, we are subtracting. So nine twelfths minus four twelfths would be five twelfths. Number two, find the difference. Use a rectangular fraction model to model common de to f model to find common denominators. Simplify your answer if possible. All right, five six minus one third. First, I'll draw my models. So there's our five six minus. One third. Next, we need to find our common denominator by listing our multiples. So I'm going to use six. Now this is already in six, so we can leave five six alone. We just need to change three into six, so that we're going to do that by multiplying by two. And so I'll need to split this in half, and I'll have two six. So we have five six minus. 2 6 is equal to 3 6, and 3 6 is the same thing as 1 half. B, 2 thirds minus 1 half. One third, 2 thirds minus 1 half. So let's find our common denominator. Alright, let's use 6. So if we have thirds, in order to split it into 6, I need to do 3 times 2 is 6. So I'm going to split this in half to make sixths. And I'll have 4 sixths minus, if I want to make the half into 6, I'll need to split it into thirds. So now I have 3 sixths. 4 sixths minus 3 sixths is 1 sixth. 5 6 minus 1 fourth. 5 6 minus 1 Okay, now let's find our common denominator for 6 and 4. So it's going to be 12. In order to make 6 into 12, 6 times 2 equals 12. So I need to split it in half. And I'll have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 twelfths minus. In order to make fourths into 12, I need to do 3. So I'll split it into thirds. And I'll have. 3 twelfths, so 10 twelfths minus 3 twelfths is 
7 twelfths, and 7 twelfths cannot be reduced or simplified. 4 fifths minus 1 half. Find our common denominator. So it's going to be 10. In order to make 5 into 10, we need to multiply it by 2 or split it in half. So we'll have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 tenths minus. In order to change 2 into 10, we're going to need to split it into fifths. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 tenths. And 8 tenths minus 5 tenths equals 3 tenths. 3 tenths cannot be simplified. 2 thirds minus 2 fifths. Find our common denominator. And it's going to be 15. Now I need to break 3 times what equals 15. Well, that's 5. So I'm going to need to split this into fifths. And I'll have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 fifteenths minus, if I take my fifths, I need to multiply it by 3 to get 15. So I'll have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 fifteenths. And 10 fifteenths minus 6 fifteenths equals 4 fifteenths. Letter F. 5 sevenths minus 2 thirds. So there's our 5 sevenths minus. Two thirds. Common denominator. I don't see anything yet, so I'm going to keep going. And there's 21. So in order to make sevenths into 21, I would need to do it by 3. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 21st minus. To make 3 into 21, we're going to need to split into 7ths. And so we'll have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 21st, and that will get us 1 21st. Number 3. Robin used 1 fourth of a pound of butter to make a cake. Before she started, she had 7 eighths a pound of butter. How much butter did ha Robin have when she was done baking? Give your answer as a fraction of a pound. So she had 7 eighths when she started, and she used 1 fourth. So we need to figure out how much she has now. So we're going to do 7 eighths minus 1 fourth. So there's our 7 eighths minus 
one fourth. If we list our common multiples, our least common multiple will be eight. Now, 7 eighths is already an eighth, so we get to leave that alone. So we'll have 7 eighths minus, we need to break fourths into eighths. That would be 2. So we have 2 eighths. We'll get 5 eighths pound left. Number four, Katrina needs three-fifths kilogram of flour to make flour for a recipe. Her mother has three-sevenths kilogram of flour in her pantry. Is this enough flour for the recipe? If not, how much more will she need? So does she have enough? Is three-fifths or three-sevenths larger? Well, three-sevenths is going to be smaller than three-fifths because if you like think about a pie, if you have a pie and you cut it into seven pieces, then three-sevenths of that is going to be smaller than if you cut it into five pieces and get three-fifths of it. So she's not going to have enough. And to figure out how much more she would need, we're going to need to subtract three-fifths minus three-sevenths. So let's find our common denominator for 5 and 7. I don't see anything yet. So 35 will be our common denominator. And in order to break fifths into 30 fifths. I'm going to need to multiply it by 7. So let's split this into sevenths. So we'll have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So we have 21 30 fifths minus to break the sevenths into thirty-fifths, you're going to need to multiply it by five. We'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen thirty-fifths, and twenty-one thirty-fifths minus fifteen thirty-fifths would be six thirty-fifths kilogram left. So no, she doesn't have enough. And she needs 16 fifths, 30 fifths kilograms.